Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's see the concept of containerization and what are the elements involved in it. This is very useful concept to better understand constellation architecture in Pega. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this TopMet. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys. Let's get started into the topic. So you guys might have already watched uh, Constellation part 1 video, if not please do watch it. So in Constellation, suppose uh, the, we consider this uh, diagram, so this is browser and this is Pega Infinity server and this is a uh, static content service. So this video is all about uh, this uh, static content service, like how we will create a container and how we will deploy the code over there and all. So whenever, uh, you know, from browser, if we want to get some case data or uh, pack a portal or uh, log on and all, we'll go for infinity and any UI static content and all, we would be retrieving from this uh, content service. Normally, we used to have uh, three different types of servers for execution of an application. So older days, we used to have a physical server setup where there used to be a server room and we would be having so much of infrastructure like hardware and all. And uh, this is like, a, it can accommodate only one application at a time. Then we have upgraded our uh, backend technologies with virtual servers. So virtual servers is a, like a software uh, which is like an abstraction layer over the hardware. So it means like hardware elements like processor, memory, storage, those are divided into multiple virtual servers. Those are nothing but uh, VMs that we call. So if you guys are working on a project, we used to have some VMware or some tools which accommodates us to communicate uh, from our local machine to this virtual servers. So each virtual machine can have its own operating system and they can behave like independent systems. So there might be a big virtual servers divided into some seven virtual servers that uh, seven can have different operating systems and uh, they can accommodate different applications as well. So it actually reduces our cost and all. So this VMware is nothing but uh, we call as hypervisors uh, like which communicates from client to our uh, backend uh, system. Now, uh, as you know, like as more part of modernization we are coming with a containers so what is container and what is containerized application so containerized applications is nothing but the application which can be run on isolated packages of a code is called as containers so what is this containers is like uh, containerization that concept is nothing but the process of packaging application code with binaries, libraries, frameworks, configurable code and suppose if an application needs to be run with some dependent code that also will be executed at one place and all together will be of a simple package. So what is the use of this containerized applications? This container application usage is like we no need to have some special infrastructure and all like uh, this particular operating system it should have and all so this can be run on any infrastructure like a physical server virtual server and cloud platform so again uh, you can deploy multiple applications using the same operating systems on a single server so there are some container engines which helps us uh, to achieve this functionality some of them are google cloud platform Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Docker, OpenShift, Mesos, which is Apache product and all. So what is the benefits of these containerized applications like isolation? So this particular application can be packaged with all the libraries and can be deployed and portability. So to whatever server you can do it lightweight as uh, we are not having uh, our own special operating system or infrastructure, just the packages. It is lightweight and efficiency. Suppose there is a server and you have different uh, containers. Even though the applications are different and each and every container, it would be working efficiently because it takes all the things from our container only. And scalability. 
that is also very important uh, use of this container application and container orchestration so normally in production we might need uh, to run multiple containers to manage our uh, environment properly so there are very uh, vast uh, tools also available in the market uh, the most uh, known tool is kubernetes this is very good example for us which supports uh, multiple containers uh, runtime engines including docker and helps us to automate the workload of production environment also okay now what is this uh, docker like uh, you have specified some containers and in that you want to deploy some code and that uh, we would be managing so what is the interface between this uh, container like how you will deploy code to the container or uh, how you will manage your code and how do you see the performance and workload and all so that is nothing but docker desktop it's nothing but a collaborative containerization software for developers of windows and or any mac users also it includes docker engine docker cli client docker compose kubernetes etc and we have two types of containers uh, basically one is linux based uh, where linux based applications are containerized and second one is windows which where windows based applications are containerized so dockers can work seamlessly with linux but not with windows but uh, if you have windows uh, right uh, then how do you run this so we can run linux servers in your windows containers using wsl or hyper v but vice versa is not possible so how to install this docker desktop and all i would be providing a link so you can go through this link and uh, follow the steps and uh, to understand more about this containerization right i would be sharing you one link of Pega academy where you can go through the concept of this uh, containerization and basically where uh, i'm specifying here right suppose this is a client uh, if in our case we can call it as a browser so when we are pulling or uh, pushing something so this docker host will have a docker daemon like uh, this first command goes here so here this is container these are individual containers this is one uh, docker host these individual containers may have different application and uh, to have access to our pega application we have to create a docker image that is nothing but pega image you can see pega image here so whenever a request is there it will go here docker demo and uh, he first it will check in the docker hub so docker hub is nothing but like a cache so in uh, suppose there is a section rule you want to want to use it so this docker pull first this docker demo will check in docker hub which is a local instance whether in this pega instance it has found and uh, suppose if there is an updated rule that is there in the image then it will have uh, a call from here from docker hub to pega and this will in build called our containers and from our application it again brings it and from it traverses from the back one so this is about docker client host and docker hub so this is also one of the important thing that you have to remember while uh, you are configuring a constellation ui and all so now uh, how we can uh, create this docker image how we can uh, deploy our code in containers these and all i will cover up in the next video so this particular uh, is nothing but uh, this uh, respect to constellation static content service so for creating this and how we can communicate uh, from pega to our static content service and how we can communicate from static content service to browser this is the basic concept of this video hope uh, you have understood this concept uh, if not like uh, feel free to go through what is this uh, dockers and all and what are the different engines that are available and go through these links also if i miss any important thing feel free to comment on the video so it will be useful for everyone thanks for watching this video hope you like this content as it is free of course please share like comment and subscribe to my channel share your knowledge as well in comments